Nicotus. <laughs> we only have 14 floors, come on. Having children in kindergarten is painful. Oh. I'm, sorry. I'm good, but I'm like actually dying inside. How is this recording? Anyway, so everyone is familiar with the awkwardness that comes from standing in an elevator with a bunch of strangers. You just kind of stand there listening to the elevator beeps or staring at the floor or you stare at the floor counter like it's somehow really interesting or the best one is you pull out your phone and you like scroll back and forth like you're somehow looking at something very interesting when you're not. We're all bored out of our minds for these 30 seconds in an elevator pretending to be interested in something when really the most interesting thing in the elevator are the people that you're not talking to. Every stranger has a story, and we all have a lot more in common than you think we do. And that's what this first episode of the Elevated Podcast was supposed to bring to light, but obviously I'm in an apartment with a bunch of college students, and college students come with buffoonery. So while some of this is wholesome, and that was the goal, there's also a lot of buffoonery. So I hope you enjoy this first edition of whatever this is gonna become. When's the last time you cried? I cried probably like two weeks ago. Can I ask why? Um, yeah, mm, I was just really upset at the circumstances that happened to me. It was more like uh, just people being bad people. It was a misunderstanding, though. Yeah. When's the last time you cried? Today. I'm gonna be honest. Can I ask I know, why? Uh, people don't really talk about it that much, but oh, we're going down. Um, today, parents are here. We'll leave it at that. When's the last time you cried? Oh, dude. Last year. What? Uh, because I felt lonely and sad. Yeah, I, I cried. Uh, yeah, I cried. Well, I mean, like, I feel like I gotta cry, but I don't cry. When was the last time you cried? Um, about two days ago. Can my, I ask my friend wrecked my car, and my phone broke, and yeah. Yeah. Kind of down bad this week, but oh, sorry. we're here. Is that a yeah. new phone, big dub? Yeah, big dub. Big we, dub. We, we got a phone at least. We got a phone, so it's okay. It's but fine. yeah, no, a uh, friend wrecked my car. Doesn't have insurance, so didn't tell me that she didn't have insurance. So that was f***ed, but here we are. When was the last time you cried? I don't remember. You don't remember? Um, but I don't remember. Probably the last month, but I don't remember why or <laughs> who I cried in front of. Who was the last person you cried in front of? Uh, myself. Never f cried in front of anybody? No. no. When was that? It's gotta be Cap. Oh, uh, last year? Bro, yeah. on God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Daddy, cap, bro. bro. Oh, shit, this is my floor. All right, hey, peace bro. out, bro. Peace out, have a good one. When's the last time you cried? Okay, um, two nights ago. <laughs> yep. Can I ask why? Um, you know when you're drunk and you kind of just let it go, you finally built it up and you just let it go. No, is this door gonna open or did we just go down a floor? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, we're going down even more. I guess we're What's your biggest regret? My first girlfriend. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> My second biggest regret? No cocaine. <laughs> Don't get addicted, kids. Third biggest regret? Nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest regret? Hmm. I don't know, but being on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's one person who changed your life? That man right there. <laughs> what do you do? He f***ed me so good, it just left me speechless. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. <laughs> okay. How Have you ever you been disappointed it? in yourself? Me no hablo inglés. When have you felt the most at peace? At peace? Making fun of him. <laughs> I love him when he gets mad. What's wrong with you, bro? Hey, Thank hater. you very much. <laughs> yeah, how we going? What's something you wish people didn't assume about you? People just assume that I'm so nice. I don't know. No, they do not. No! Yes, they do! <laughs> no, they do! What's your most cherished memory? I think my most cherished memory is me and my dad working on my car sophomore year of high school. Uh, what's your most cherished memory? My most cherished memory is meeting my roommate Ina for the first time. Tell me a cherished memory. Um, going to Hawaii every year with my family. Um, 
And then my last year going with my buddies for graduation, probably one of the lifelong experiences, great experience. Solid. What's up, y'all? What's your most cherished memory? Um, going to the movie theater with her for the first time. Aww, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Is this what, is this what yes. you guys yeah, are? <laughs> yeah, we're good one, yeah. How are you, but really? Um, I'm doing decent, I'd say. Um, meet new people. That's the way I'd put it. Decent. Do you want to ask a question? Sure, I have one color, but sure. Okay, I got you. Um, how are you, but really? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. How are you, but really? How am I, but really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm good, but I'm like actually dying inside. <laughs> Stop, it's parent weekend, so I'm getting like moms and dads here. So every year for the rest of my life, yeah, the rest of my life now, <laughs> I'm going to be doing elevator podcasts on parent weekend. Kirsten, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to Jack. meet you. I'm Jasmo. Yeah, no, I know Jasmo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's the most pain that you felt that wasn't physical? The most pain that was um, kindergarten. What about kindergarten? That was painful. Kindergarten, having children in kindergarten is painful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> much worse than, than dropping them off for college. Dang. Because they cry. When they go to college, they, they're happy. They're way, glad to get away from their parents. When they're in kindergarten, they cry. So that's emotionally traumatizing. What's your most cherished memory? Oh, the birth of my firstborn. Oh, God. No, he's right here, though. I just have to say that. I don't know. Can I have a next question? Yeah. What's your biggest fear in life? One of my kids getting hurt. Do you have any big regrets in your life? No. Your first born? <laughs> When's the last time you felt pure joy? Oof. So we're getting deep. Um. Oh, okay. Um. I can't remember the days. <laughs> When's the last time you felt the most joy? The most joy. Honestly, whenever I'm with all of my friends and family, like this weekend's been a lot of fun having everyone in the same place. So it's been super enjoyable. Yeah, you gotta value those important people. Yes, most definitely. Solid. Yeah, what about you? When was the last time you felt a lot of joy? Uh, well, Since I, mean, I have another floor, I have to um, made him press the wrong button. This summer, I went skateboarding with all my homies and mm -hmm. it was like hailing outside, hailing oh rain. My God. And my, we were blasting this one song that was like out, like out new at that time. And mm -hmm. like, so that song, whenever I listen to that, I just think of that like a memory with the homies now. I love that. So, I have one of those too. What song is it? It's, it's Golden Hour by uh, JBK. Yeah. Good one. When's the last time you laughed the hardest? Last time I laughed the hardest? I don't know. When's the last time I laughed the hardest? Probably just sitting in my living room high with Andrew, just laughing at the things that he says. He's a funny guy. I wouldn't say funny. I'd say he's just more of like like one of those like idiots that you meet and you just yeah. Let me put him on blast. Bro. <laughs> What's your motto in life? We live on a f***ing rock, so who cares what you do? Just live your life and it's gonna be fun. Even when the pieces of your life aren't, they don't feel like they're going together. They are. You just don't see the bigger picture. Gotta take a step back. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take a step back. I like to think that nothing happens for the worse. Everything is for the better. Everything. Your girlfriend cheats on you, it's for the better. Get it out. Get it out of the way. And so there's a lot of things in your life that you think, oh, this is, this is ruining my life. It's not. It's making you a stronger person at the least. Once again, for the like fifth time. Yeah. Chat is back. What's a safe space of yours? My room. Whoa. Up, we got people. Your room? My room. Uh, just cause like, I could go back to my room and like just reflect on everything I've done and like no one's gonna bother me. Like, y'all that you'd all be doing that? You'd be doing that? You go in your room? What's your guys' safe space? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably my room, yeah. Office area. What's your safe space? The gym. You lift heavy? I do. What's your favorite day? Back. Really? Yes, I hit back today. I kid you not. You got a good pump? I'll show you. You gotta show the camera. Okay. Show the pump. Oh, well, wait, I gotta find it though. What's a compliment you'll never forget? 
I gotta think about this because as males, most males don't get complimented often. 100%. 100%. So, I would say one of my friends said that it was my, like, willing to put my shit aside and be able to help them out with something. So, oh, big dub, we got more close up. What's a compliment you'll never forget? Ooh. Uh, other than my mom telling me that I look good, um, probably that I have a nice butt, <laughs> straight up. I've never heard that until I was older, but I guess the lady's like a nice butt on a man, and I didn't know that, and I guess I have a nice butt. You're caked up? I'm double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. What's the most painful thing you've ever been told? Oh, pain, man. Probably, uh, I'm not gonna say who, but probably being told you're not good enough. And whether it's like, an, I mean, I'll relate this to anybody, but like whether you're in a relationship or if it's like a figure that you really admire, and I won't specify who, but being told you're not good enough is like, if you look up to them or you love them, it's like the most heartbreaking thing you've ever heard in your life. And I've heard that once in my life and it is the most um, like heart-wrenching thing you've ever, you've ever felt in your life. And I cried a lot. And I won't specify, so you can, you know. Damn, bro. Yeah. That's rough, buddy. That's a rough one, that's a rough one. When was a moment you felt the most loved? Never. You never felt loved? Never. No, I'm kidding, yeah. I have. <laughs> no, okay. At home, no. At home? No. Solid. Hey, have a good one. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. Who is someone you take for granted? Um. Or took for granted? All my friends. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Biggest regret? Not making enough friends freshman year. If you died right now, would you feel accomplished? Oh man, yeah, absolutely, man. I've done so much, and I'm only, I'm only 26, but I've, I, I've done exactly what I wanted to do. I've, I've done everything that I've said I've gonna, I'm, I'm going to do to everybody that I've ever told in my life, for sure. I'm accomplishing my dreams, and I think I'm, I'm pretty set. Whether I, I die today or in 10 years, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And I think, especially in the last like 10 years, has been everything I've ever wanted to do in my life. And it's, it's great, I think I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with how I'm doing, so I'm good, yeah, Thank I'm you. happy. So, That's good. yeah. Dang, I wasn't expecting that. I was oh, really? I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, I was about to like no, no, <laughs> I have so much to do. No, no, Dang, I'm good, good, man, yeah, I'm happy, so. Nice. What's your biggest fear in life? Oh, dude, what do I do? My biggest fear in life, being lonely. Yeah, being lonely is definitely a special young man. Shout out, Andrew Tate. What do you like most about yourself? I'm pretty humble about myself, but I'd say my kindness, probably, being nice to people. But there's some people that deserve to be picked on. <laughs> so Yeah, that's fair enough, fair enough. Um, that's, that's my love language right there, is getting picked on. So if you ain't getting picked on, you ain't loved. <laughs> I love that everyone comes in here and just forgets to press the button. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't, I don't mind, bro. Who's somebody that you would do anything for, but they wouldn't do anything for you? Jeez. Holy sh**. Dude, this is a tough question because I gotta think about it. Like, I can't just like be like, boom! Hmm. I'd say... I'm not gonna name any names actually because it's ex exposing. But this dude that I went to school with for 14 years kind of just blew off our friendship after high school. Took him to Hawaii. Doesn't really catch up or anything. I would do anything for him, but nah, not anymore. I'm just that one angry guy that's not <laughs> what you do. When was the moment that you felt the most alive? Man. When I was off the coast of Libya, man, 2016, we were getting like rocket fire every once in a while. It was pretty f***ing crazy. I was like 18, and I was like, this is real, this is real stuff. And you know, I was a young, young Marine, young guy, and it was like, this is real, this is real life, this is real stuff, so. It's not like college or anything, so. Yeah, just like, 
being deployed is crazy. This is real life stuff. I know that's too deep, but no, that's all good. That's all, that's, that's all about. Are you happy in life? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. My dad's famous. That's about it, yeah. You want to shout him out? I'm uh, cooking with Daryl. How are you, though? Good, yeah, good. Solid. When's the moment that you felt the most alive? Did you know cooking with Daryl? Yeah. The moment I felt most man. <laughs> the moment I felt most alive, I was just tailgating with my best friend David and his dad cooking with Daryl. And we made a video and they scrolled across the whole crowd. They said, are you kidding me? And I was like, I'm alive. I'm alive. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be doing more things like this, but hopefully next time it'll be more wholesome or uh, next time I'll have like some sort of underlying theme. Um, but yeah, let me know if you liked what this, uh, how this turned out and I'll be doing more of this. So yeah. We got some other soaps. We got some other soaps. Who are we here with? Uh, Holden, it's my name. Holden's filming for me today, he's a G. If you could change one thing in your life right now, what would it be? Mm, man, probably expanding like my socialness, probably getting out there more, uh, talking to more people. It's probably like my most, my fault is just not uh, socializing as much and just staying with like current friends, so. I probably feel like I should uh, just talk to more people and be out there, put myself out there more. It's like my biggest fault, so. Take it one step at a time, one yeah. step at a time. Who's one person who you would do anything for, but they wouldn't do anything for you? Oh, oh, man. Uh, I think the stereotypical answer would be like an ex-girlfriend. I think that's the most stereotypical answer, or like a girl that you like liked, and uh, she didn't reciprocate the same feelings. Um, mm, I don't have a family member particularly. I think everybody in my family would do something for me, but uh, yeah, I don't have a good answer for that. I think it's just like an ex-girlfriend or something. <laughs> I don't know. What were we talking How are you, but really? Honestly, like, damn. <laughs> I gotta answer my own question. Let's get into it. Right now, I'm like, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, like the past like two weeks or so, I was like in my head a lot. I was like, um. About what? Like this, honestly. I was like, damn, like I really want, you know, like I'm all, like I'm trying to like unlock human connection, basically, right? And so, and I don't know, I was just in my head, like that I'm spending all this time on this, and like, will it be worth it, you know? Cause like, I'm spending so much time editing, or uh, like thinking of ideas, or just editing, yeah. Um, damn. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, and I'm, I'm like missing out on some of like, I guess the typical college things, oh. but I'm realizing that like, the ideas that I have for the future are like gonna be even better than like a typical college thing, you know? Or like, I'm coming, I'm starting to come to realize like I don't value some of like, a lot of the typical college things. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm actually like better spending my time doing this. Okay, two follow-up questions. Yeah. Do you have FOMO? Do you know what FOMO is? Yeah. If you're missing out. Do you have FOMO? Not really, no. No, no because, um, when I feel the, when, I mean, another question, when I feel the most alive is not, or like the most happy, or like when I'm feeling like I'm doing the most, mm -hmm. or feeling the most, is when I'm making people's lives a little bit better. And yes. whether that be through like them watching a video, or through them, more importantly, like me bringing them along on like mm -hmm. one of the videos and like connecting people, that's the biggest thing is connecting people. Like what makes me feel the most happy in life is when I get, when like I'm doing a video or doing an event or whatever, and I see like people who I brought together who were strangers. Mm -hmm. and, they, they became friends. Mm -hmm. And the, the second best thing is when, is when I hear back from one of those people and they're like, hey man, you know that guy? Yeah, I hung out with him a couple times now. Nice. That, that's, that's what I'm like, we need more of that. We got some other soaps. We got some other soaps.